We're here with Alex Redford Young, who happens to be... My baby boy. He's the caboose. And a very talented artist when it comes to food and what yeah, else? Yeah, he's a great chef. He's also a healer and uh, he's a massage therapist. So if you come to one of our extended day retreats here at the Rancho del Sol PH Miracle Center, you may have a massage from Alex Redford Young. But today he's going to be cooking for us. So Alex, what are you going to make? We're making a coconut shake today. Mm. And you really like this. You've told me, I've talked to you about it, and you say this is a quick, easy recipe that is just delicious if you put it in the fridge overnight. Yeah, you store it in the fridge, and in the morning it's nice and uh, creamy, and, and I enjoy it. So. How do you pick a good coconut, and what kind should our viewers you pick? you got to open it up to find out. So. <laughs> ah, yeah, but mystery. I found, you know, But I found the bigger... These Thai coconuts are the better, the, the better quality of the meat. And also, I want to talk a little bit about coconut water. The thing about coconut water is it has the same pH as our bloodstream, 7.365. And in that coconut water, you'll find lauric oil. Lauric oil is antifungal, antimicrobial, and antibacterial. So the fact that we have something that can replace our electrolytes and be whipped up in just a minute is so ideal for alkalarian living. So you never really know what the coconut meat content is going to be until, until. until you open it up. And That's you should right. see yes. Alex with this yeah. <laughs> meat flavor. Yeah, he's going to show us out. Coconut Stand back, flavor. Paul. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. North, east, south, and west. Smarty moves his fingers away. Yeah. No jeopardy there. Alex says that in three cuts. I usually take four, so that's nice. Actually, and then he has this little lid yeah, I there. I take 12. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. When you open it up and you look at the top where you cut, you're going to see a nice fatty piece of flesh here that we could try. You guys want to mm -hmm. take a taste? Yeah, I'll take a taste. And the color looks good because mm, you don't want it pinkish, right? You mm. want it, no, yeah, I want it clear. Nice, let's check it out. We pour so the... you're pouring some of the water out before you cut further? Is that what you do, Alex? Yeah. Okay. Because we're going to chop it in half. So maybe you can even enjoy a little bit here. It's a mess sometimes. But... Yeah, that's beautiful and clear, as it should be. There should be no fizziness, no sourness. Out? Yeah. How often uh, does one have coconut water? Every, every day, day if you oh. can. Every day if you can. Yeah, the elixir absolutely. of the gods. It's absolutely phenomenal. Here he goes. One. Nice okay. job. Just want to cut it in half and then we'll be on our way. Nice wow. job. Two. Two. Whoa. Two. Nicely done. We got a little yeah. bit of meat in there we can scrape out. So we're going to add that to our coconut water and then we're going to blend that up. So the meat, whatever's in there, the coconut water. Yeah, and then we add a little bit of lime to emulsify, get it nice and... Uh, you put the lime in the, the coconut, coconut and keep it all together. Put the <laughs> lime in the... That's I'm great. Just scrape this out really quick. So this meat is going to thicken this up, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's, an e that's a nice light... That looks almost like egg, egg white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And be careful of all the little... Uh, wood pieces. So you, so you don't want the wood in there, is that correct? Oh, uh, well, you might hurt yourself. Got to be careful. You add cinnamon sometimes. So. I add cinnamon to this shake, and I really like that. Also, I wanted to mention that coconut meat is high in phosphorus, which builds bone and healthy teeth. So uh, this is a good dish when you're taking dairy out of your life. And a lot of times we think, oh, I've got to have something creamy, you know. Uh, people really like the texture of something cold and creamy. So this is going to take the place of your puddings, your ice creams, uh, your malts and shakes. Uh, this is going to be a creaming agent. You could even take this mixture and mix it into a soup to cream a soup. So it's very versatile and uh, really easy. Is there a good time, Alex, to have coconut water or coconut meat? Uh, I, I like it in the morning. Right in the morning, it's nice and fresh. Strike your day Wakes with you it. up. Yeah, it's. Uh, well, they, you've, you've had it overnight. It's been in the refrigerator, so it's yeah, nice and creamy. You yeah, want to have I, it in the morning. I usually then. make it in the, at night, and then in the morning on my way to school or work or my next massage, I kind of just. You're have putting it on the, the lime. Add the nice. lime in Squeeze there. it in half. Any particular way of knowing that you're getting a good lime when you're shopping? Uh. That would be her. <laughs> yes, yeah, Shelly. <laughs> when you're picking out a lime, you want a thin-skinned lime that feels heavy in your hand for how much weight you're going you're gonna to lift it. You mm, want it to feel heavy for how big it is. And that means it's full of juice. 
it's not dried out uh, if the skin is tight and it and it seems heavy so that's good and I wanted to ask you Alex you know you grew up in our family and we went through a lot of change with this pH miracle stuff and uh, could you just tell the the audience here you know how you came to transition into this lifestyle and what you think of it now well, because you were a little resistant in the beginning because <laughs> you grew up with it, right? All right. You sort of yeah, held back for a little it bit. It wasn't the funnest thing as a kid to make these food changes, but I think as you've grown and become the great man that you are, you really appreciate it now. Absolutely, yeah. When you start having health challenges of your own, there's um, sometimes means to uh, figure this out and where mm -hmm. I can get more life and uh, vitality and health and feeling good and seeing... Um, my friends, you know, enjoying their lives and living a certain lifestyle that caught up with me in the, in the end and uh, caused me, uh, you know, frustration and irritableness and, uh, you know, so it so wasn't a happy time in my life, so I needed to figure things out to uh, bring some more happiness. Great. So you're saying what we eat affects the way we feel. Absolutely. Yeah. So as a parent, you didn't push. You sort of had it there and allowed... Absolutely. We, we decided not to force any of our children into this, and Alex was the youngest. So uh, we always let it be a choice, and we believe when you're ready to make those changes, you'll make those changes. And Alex now is one of the greatest alkalarians in our family, and he enjoys good health, beautiful skin. Uh, you know, I think he's convinced now that it's the way to go. So what do we do now with what yeah. we have? I just want to blend it up now. That's it. And we're finished. And you just got to put it in the fridge. How simple. Yeah. Keep it simple. If you can get past the cooking, the cracking of the coconut, then you're good to go. <laughs> so we get this on low. It's like about 12 Voila. seconds. That's it. So now what do we do? We just, now it's time for the drinking. Nope. Now it's time for putting it in the refrigerator. Pour it in there. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then you just about eight ounces. Now it looks like a glass of milk. Look at yeah. that. <laughs> and it will thicken overnight. And it gets It'll be like a nice, shake. It'll be, yeah. It is the coconut shake. Yeah. yeah. It's this nice thick texture. It's really interesting. You know, yeah. The refrigerator and what it can do for you. It's amazing how talented Alex is with desserts. Mm. And uh, oh, okay. how was that? I'm just going to take a little taste. Wow, it's even good right out of the gate. Yeah. So very, very good. In a wow. rush and you don't want to put it in Pavaloso. the Pavaloso. Pavaloso, yes. Woo! Thank you, Thank Alex. You, Alex. Good problem. job. <laughs>